Welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining us today. Um, as uh, we approach this cautious transition to opening up our countries and our states, um, all of us here at Body Point want you to know we're thinking about you uh, every day. And um, we're wishing that all of you and your families remain safe and healthy as we transition back to a different new normal. So my name is Lori Lizotte, and I am the Director of U.S. Sales, and uh, I'll be your host for today. And with me, I have presenting Vin Ma, who is our Product Manager, and Nick Franzen, who is our Quality Manager here at BP. And today's session is number 103, and we're going to be focusing on our Body Point bath line. And um, before we get started, just a few housekeeping tips. Um, we're doing this in a little bit different format than we did the last two. And so uh, this is going to be a Zoom meeting. We're giving this one a try. Uh, so you have the ability to unmute yourselves and have your video on or off as you desire. Um, <clears throat> uh, another couple things, so you may notice this, a lot of people are working from home, um, as we all know. And so um, internet traffic can be a bit dicey. Here in um, Seattle, we are in the tech hub, uh, one of the tech hubs of the US. Hi, Giuseppe. And um, as a result of that, um, sometimes the um, system gets a little glitchy and it freezes. Now, it seems that when I freeze, everybody else is still going on. So <laughs> continue moving and I'll join you when I can. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so we already talked about everybody being muted. We do want this to be interactive. We like this to be a little bit more conversational than just a webinar with us talking at you. So if you have something that you would like to say or a comment or something that you would like to add, you can send me a chat and um, when we have a natural break, we'll just stop and we'll answer questions. You can unmute yourselves and we can engage in some conversation. So we're hoping that all of you take that opportunity to engage with us today. So, um, Let's get started. Grab your coffee, grab your water, and let's go. Um, so I wanted to start by giving everybody a little bit of a background on uh, our bath lines and, and how we got to creating this. So um, way back when, when, when shower chairs were uh, created and they were more technical shower chairs, um, it, it became necessary for people to ensure that people that were using these chairs were safe. As they get wet, they can become slippery, people could slide off. Some people need a little bit more postural support. And so um, shower chair manufacturers often provided default belts that they manufactured. And most of these were webbing type of belts. And uh, they were very, very strong, but due to the, the materials, they could often irritate the skin or create chafing. And we all know that wet skin is the most vulnerable um, of all. And so it's necessary to protect that skin. So as an alternative, um, some manufacturers came out with these larger pads that were polyurethane um, and they needed to be larger because they didn't provide as much support. And so you needed more material which covered more area. And the um, problem with that was that um, it became difficult to clean underneath because of the, the um, mass of the product, the size of the product was so large. So a wheelchair manufacturer approached Body Point and said, hey, Body Point, could you come up with something that um, might be uh, a little bit more effective, that would be safe, uh, with, uh, and wouldn't be damaged by soap and water, uh, would fit a variety of sizes of users, um, and a little softer. And so Body Point took that challenge on, and um, we came up with this innovative approach of using something called AeroMesh. And so um, Ben's going to talk a little bit about our product and um, explain some of the features of that product um, or of the products because there's several. And uh, then she'll have a little bit of a Q&A interview with Nick and Nick will tell you a little bit about the uh, materials and, and why Body's Point um, uh, approach was a little bit more innovative. Um, the good news for Body Point is that this product was so well received that it is now a standard on most wheelchair, uh, shower wheelchair, um, or shower chairs, I should say. Um, and so we are very fortunate to be recognized as the premium product that provides the most um, benefit to users and health and safety. So what does this mean to you? 
Well, um, if you distribute or rep shower chair lines, you want to make sure that you understand all of the unique benefits of this product so that you can Uh oh, Lori just froze for just a little bit. She's going to return shortly. <laughs> Give her a few seconds. I feel like she was getting. All right, I'm almost back. <laughs> You're back, Lori. We were just waiting for you. Okay, well, I'm sort of back. There we go. Sorry about okay. that, everybody. <laughs> I think the scariest thing about this is I don't know what position I'm going to freeze in, right? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so we want you all to be um, aware of what the unique benefits are that our product provides so that when you're out there selling these chairs, you can provide the best product, the premium product that pr provides the most um, benefit um, health and safety wise for the people that will use these chairs. For those of you that don't rep or distribute a shower chair line, there's still an opportunity for you. There are many institutions such as um, veteran administration clinics or even potentially group homes where they may purchase maybe one or two chairs to service um, multiple residents. And in those cases, um, no one wants to share a wet bath belt, much like none of us want to share a wet towel after a shower. So um, the opportunity here, because of the way our bath products have quick releases, um, is that you're able to go in and say, here, let's get a belt for every user that's here. They can share the shower chair, but everybody has their own personal belt, um, which assists with hygiene and comfort. So um, there's opportunity there. Um, uh, I'm going to now pass this over to Ben, our product manager. And Ben's going to tell us a little bit about the unique features of our uh, bath line. Take it away, Ben. Cool. Thanks, Lori. Love your intro. Um, so yeah, I'm going to talk you through um, the products we have in our bath line, and then I'll do a quick little uh, interview with Nick about the materials that we use. Uh, so you might be familiar um, with our bath line, but we have um, bath belts, and we also have a shower chair cap support. Um, in terms of our bath belts, um, here we have, um, we have two different styles of openings. This is a two-piece pad with a center opening um, side release buckle and a D-ring. Uh, and this also um, has grommeted ends for attaching to the shower chair. Um, it's this um, really awesome aero mesh material. We also have a, um, a, a single piece um, bath bell, as you can see um, here. And it has a side release buckles on the sides. And so it would attach to um, the sides of the chair and you could unbuckle from the side. So with these bath belts, they're meant to be worn either across the chest or in front of the knees um, or possibly over your thighs, um, depending on the user's stability needs. And uh, I'm and just really quick, so uh, the single uh, center release comes in two sizes, the medium and the large, and then a two piece comes, or the single piece, sorry, comes in a large and extra large. Um, and I just want to show you guys really quick how you would actually install this on a shower chair. So I have here in front of me just a, um, you can see this gadget, this tube that represents the shower chair frame. So you can actually attach this. Um, the bath belt to the body point band clamp and also the, oh, there you go, you can see me better, the um, fan clamp as well as a frame clamp. Um, so this is actually a 25 millimeter tube, um, so that's the sizes that I have. Um, obviously, you could use our 22 millimeter band clamp or 22 millimeter frame clamp. So there's two different ways of installing the grommet um, on there. You can either use the button head screws that actually come with the clamps, or what we actually have is a quick release knob, which is pretty easy. You simply fit, um, fit it over the grommet hole and then you screw it into the clamp. And the reason we designed this um, is going back to Lori's story about how nobody wants to share a wet towel. So if you have multiple users in a shower chair, um, it's really easy when you have a new user come on to use it. Buongiorno. Hi. <laughs> Um, who is that? Sorry. 
Is that Giuseppe? Did you have a question? You're good. All right. Let me continue. Um, so, so yes, like I was saying, when you have multiple users, you have a new user on the chair, a quick release knob to install it, and then when they're off the chair, next, ready for the next person, simply uh, remove, quick release, remove, and then attach the new person's belt. On our single pad, um, single pad bath belt, we actually also have the option of a webbing and three bar slide um, attachment. So, you know, I slid the three bar slide over the webbing, um, wrap it over the, wrap it over the chair tube, shower chair tube frame, and then you get it to the tightness that you want, and then thread it through the three bar slide, and then back around. There you go. So this will work also for individuals who this is their personal shower chair, and it also works for those who are institutions. Again, it's pretty easy to just remove this and then um, snap it on. So in this situation, then um, many of the users would have to have the single piece pad that would have the side release buckle to buckle on and pull off. Uh, the other one item I want to talk about is actually the shower chair cap strap here. Comes in three different sizes um, and they're all um, the aero mesh material. It has a sewn in tubing clips that allow you to clip right into the shower chair frame. So here I have, so these actually fit 22 millimeter um, tubes like so. It snaps on really nicely. Um, you can have actually also um, snap this onto 25 millimeter um, tubes. They're a little bit of a tighter fit, but the plastic does relax over time. So it's, you know, a little bit difficult to snap on, but once it's on, it'll stay on and it'll mold to the shape. So, okay. Um, oh. Okay, so let's ask Nick a few questions about the aero mesh material. So hi, Nick. Um, can you tell us <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about um, how our aero mesh is different than other mesh materials on the market? Uh, sure. I would say probably the, the main difference, I have a few examples with is that um, our air mesh is open um, on both sides of the fabric. Uh, mm -hmm. So I have here an example of an air mesh material. I don't know if you can see it, it has the the holes that we often associate with uh, air mesh material. Um, and on the other side, it's actually, um, it's actually a closed material uh, where here I have an example of our air mesh. Uh, you can see it's got the, the open hole uh, face on one side, but it's also open on the other side as well. Um, in fact, I don't know if you can see, we can actually see through it. Um, so this is going to allow for um, air, water, uh, soap, and dirt to uh, pass through and for it to be cleaned. Nice. Um, yeah. So I know that uh, our team, we're very specific when we're choosing materials from different suppliers. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk a little bit about what kind of qualities we were looking for when selecting this specific um the specific material? Sure. Uh, yeah. When we um, designed the product, we wanted something that um, would hold its own shape in mm -hmm. in a product. So uh, I'll go back to this material here. Um, it actually has uh, some really uh, sort of stiff uh, polyester fibers, and it's a little mm -hmm. bit thicker than you often see air mesh. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's you can kind of see just the comparison. This so the one's pretty limp. It's a little bit thinner, so it's not a, the yeah. It's not the fairest comparison here, but but um, but you can see that it really holds its shape really well. Um, mm -hmm. So that way, it can actually be used as a standalone product. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is that it's a two-way stretch, so mm -hmm. uh, it does mean that when we cut the pads, we always have to cut them in the same direction. Mm -hmm. um, but um, what it does is uh, the the stretch is actually um, in the um, crossways direction. So um, it sort of maintains its structure uh, lengthwise, um, mm -hmm. but then um, it's a little bit more flexible and conform to different shapes, um, different mm -hmm. body shapes. Yeah. 
in the up and down direction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, some thought going into it for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so Lori mentioned earlier how um, users' wet skin is often a lot more sensitive and prone to chafing. So if you actually feel our aero mesh material, it's actually really soft <laughs> against the skin. And um, I really love this gray color, which is different than some of our other, um, some of our other hip belts. So can you speak to that a little bit, Nick? Uh, well, um, yeah, we did actually pick a specific Pantone for that <laughs> color. Uh, it's, it's actually um, considered monument gray. Um, okay. Yeah, we, we just really wanted something that would uh, differentiate it from the rest of our product line and, and not be black. Um, mm -hmm. We also wanted something that would um, that would show dirt and debris, um, mm -hmm. and but we didn't want it to be white, so it would show everything all the time and look ugly. So we wanted to kind mm -hmm. of balance between the two. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's pretty soft. Um, often um, when you have uh, an air mesh material that is stiff and holds structure and is thicker, it can be really scratchy. So um, we were really uh, lucky to find um, air mesh that has all those properties, but is actually really smooth to the touch and smooth to the base. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I know something else that some of our users might be concerned with, especially um, with COVID-19 is sanitization and just how important it is to keep surfaces clean. Um, so obviously with a bath product, you're using it on a regular basis. You have to have a way to clean it. Um, is there, Nick, is there a special way that you have to uh, clean the bath welds? There really isn't. No, you can just, uh, you can just throw it in the washing machine. <laughs> nice. uh, yeah, we've, we've tested um, here at Body Point. Uh, we've done multiple cycles. On, in our washing uh, machines and um, yeah, no breakdown of material, mm -hmm. still nice and soft. Um, we even use some um, harsher industrial uh, disinfectants as well and mm -hmm. issue it all. And that might become more of an issue than anything with COVID right now is that some of these cleaners that are considered like um, Fungicides and virucides and bactericides might become more into play. Yeah, we have a, a question from um, Alan McKinley. He's a U.S. sales rep, and he asks, um, "How many showers should a a belt hold up for? How how many years can do you think it would last?" Good question. <laughs> <laughs> you know. We do have a 10 year warranty. We've had these in our product line for probably, I would say eight years. Don't, mm -hmm. that, yeah. but I think yeah. it's close to that. Um, mm -hmm. We've never had one come back. That's great. <laughs> That's a good testament, I would think. I would say. We've, yeah, I, I, I have no known um, return or RMA for. For one of these because of just down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nick, I think something um, also worth mentioning is the fact that, you know, if you're not wanting, if you didn't want to uh, machine wash and dry this every single time, you can actually just lay this out to air dry, that right? And it um, dries a little bit faster than, you know, our standard hip belts because of the open cell. Right. <laughs> So um, John Bone wanted to know, can we, do we need to avoid uh, tumble dryers? No, no, not at all. Those are completely safe? Yeah. That's, fa that's fabulous. <clears throat> I know that, you know, a lot of the major chair manufacturers um, carry our products on order forms, which, you know, indicates that it is a trusted product. Um, and I think it is, it is particularly unique and innovative in that this fabric is so soft it does dry quickly. It is able to be washed and dried, which aids in um, preventing bacteria um, and ensuring that um, it's, a, it's a healthy and, and safe product. 
So Ben and, and Nick, any further comments um, around the product itself or uh, anything that you might think of relative to uh, quality? Um, We're good? Yeah, I think so. Just uh, thanks for joining us. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or Nick or Lori, any of us. Um, we're more than happy to get on the phone, get on a video chat with you guys and talk into a little bit more detail. I know today was a little bit more quick, but I'm happy to connect with you guys. Um, if you want to go into a little bit more depth. Yeah. That's great, Ben. Does anybody else have any questions from our, our audience here? Well, that's good. I, I know you all are familiar with it. We just wanted to give you a little bit more detail um, around, you know, why we have this. Um, uh, you know, I've been in the industry a couple of years, so I am always learning. Um, and I had a lot of time with Matthew this week, um, giving me some background on it. It was, for me, it was fascinating to learn. Um, but I am so pleased. Um, oh, actually, Matthew has a comment. Matthew, can you talk about how effective it is to wear across the knees? How effective it is to wear it across the knees right so I so one thing I do know is a lot of these um, shower chairs tilt and um, so for, for those people we have the the, the um, shower um, chair calf support that clips on that Ben showed you but you can also wear the belt across the front of the knees um, which helps with people who might potentially be high tone or if somebody is tilting back, making sure that their their uh, legs and, and lower body is stable on the chair. Matthew, any further comments on that? <laughs> Did we get that right? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, um, with that, um, this was supposed to be just a quick uh, uh, recap and overview. Um, thank you for making it interactive. It's so much more enjoyable for us when we can actually here, uh, have some questions and um, get to see some of your faces. We got to see Giuseppe's face. And Richard, we just see your wall, but that's okay. <laughs> we know you're there. Um, so thank you everybody for participating. Uh, this has been recorded and there's John Bone, all right. Um, so this has been recorded and we will be posting it um, not only to our YouTube channel, YouTube channel, easy for me to say, um, as well as our partner center. So, um, uh, anyway, I wish you all a great uh, rest of your day and uh, evening, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Have a great day, everybody.